how to make a delicious rainbow cake. If you've been on Pinterest, you've probably seen at least one pinned photo of a rainbow cake slice. These colorful, multi-layered wedges of bliss are just so pretty that they've become the new it girls of the dessert table, whether it's a spread for a dainty bridal shower or a kindergartner's birthday bash. What many love about the rainbow cake is that the end product looks so much more impressive than your typical sheet cake, even though it's not that challenging to bake and assemble. All you need is a basic sponge cake recipe, some cream cheese frosting, and a set of gel food colors. Follow this tutorial on how to make a delicious rainbow cake to impress family and friends. 1. Some rainbow cake tutorials online take the easy way out and simply use box cake mix tinted with food coloring. While that may work in a pinch, we suggest making yours scratch for much better flavor and consistency, especially since this recipe is not that much harder than using cake mix. To make a rainbow cake from scratch, you need the following ingredients. 3 eggs, 3 cups all-purpose flour, 2 sticks of softened, not melted, butter, 2 and a half cups of white granulated sugar, 1 cup of buttermilk, 1 fourth cup heavy whipping cream, 1 tablespoon vanilla extract, 1 tablespoon baking powder, and 1 half teaspoon salt. You will also need red, yellow, blue, and green gel food coloring. 2. For the cream cheese frosting, you will need 12 ounces softened cream cheese, 3 sticks softened, again not melted, butter, 6 cups of powdered sugar, and 1 tablespoon vanilla extract. 3. Preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. You will be baking 6 layers of cake in different colors. It would be great if you can use a different 9-inch cake pan for each layer but you can pretty much make do with two or three pans, as long as you make sure each one has completely cooled before reusing. Make sure to generously grease and flour the pans every time. 4. To make the cake batter, cream the sugar and butter. Thoroughly mix in the eggs, then add buttermilk, heavy cream, and vanilla extract. Next, add half of the flour, baking powder, and salt. When everything has been incorporated into the cake batter, mix in the second half of flour. Be careful not to overmix. 5. Divide the cake batter equally into six bowls, with a cup of batter in each. Use food coloring to create each vibrant shade of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Mix the available food coloring as needed to make orange and purple. Red plus yellow, and red plus blue, respectively. 6. Pour the colored batter into its own prepared pan and spread to create a thin, even layer. Bake for 10 to 15 minutes or until the center is set. Keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't overbake. This can easily happen because of the thinness of each layer. 7. As each cake layer is done, take it out of the oven and let it cool in the pan until warm to the touch. Run a spatula around the edges and carefully remove the cake. Transfer to a rack to cool completely. 8. While waiting for all six layers to cool, get started on the cream cheese frosting. In a mixer, beat the cream cheese and butter together until fluffy and creamy. Add the powdered sugar a little at a time and flavor with vanilla. Keep frosting in the fridge until ready to use. 9. Now, put everything together. Note: Make sure that the cake has completely cooled. Take the violet-colored cake and lay it down first. Spread some frosting on top. Lay the blue layer down next, add more frosting, and so on. 10. Spread a nice thin layer of frosting on top of the red layer and all around the sides of the rainbow cake. This is called a crumb coat. It's supposed to seal in all the loose crumbs of cake, which helps you achieve a neater look. 11. Place the cake inside the fridge for about 20 minutes to allow the crumb coat to set. 12. Finish frosting the cake. Afterward, all that's left to do is slice and serve. If you're looking for something to make with the kids or a novice baker, you'll be glad to learn that the cake batter recipe here is pretty forgiving when it comes to overmixing. 
Also, it pretty much goes with any kind of frosting, so if you'd rather use buttercream or even fondant, that should work too. And that's all you need to know about how to make a delicious rainbow cake. Now that wasn't too complicated, was it? <laughs>